Hey there, my assemblies, welcome back to my channel. Today is an exciting day. The time has come for me to break down Apple Logo Animation. I'll be with you every step of the way, guiding you through the breakdown process, sharing tips and tricks I gathered along the creative journey. Let's get started. Now we're into the After Effects. And I wanna tell you guys that this Logo Animation is so creative and there I have used very creative ways to create this morphing effect but everything is clear shapes there is not used any plugins everything is clear shapes but just the right order right sequence and there we go okay let's get started I'm gonna explain every little details I'm gonna go through the layers, watch every, la watch every layer is going here in this animation. For example, this one is this part of the Apple logo. And what I'm doing here is um, just changing the form of this shape with path animation a little bit, trying to make it look like a circle and let's go to the closer view and when i'm going here i just create an sorry another circle here and press u to reveal action keyframes and as you can see in just a few frames this uh, circle getting uh, zero in scale and goes down in position like uh, compatible with this uh, drop like it's so nice go goes down and uh, uh, became um, so so small and disappearing and our eyes stays on this part okay uh, as you can see this part uh, taking action it's preparing for the action like this it goes down a little bit it goes down and then goes up okay this is our uh, layer here for this shape press u to reveal the keyframes what we have here this is the path animation position and um, scale but we don't use position yet until here okay this is a clear path animations but uh, to make uh, very smooth and clear motion you need a direction where to go where to go okay so I have created this path here for the direction and my this uh, like a liquid shape follows this path okay but how it follows it I am doing it by hand frame by frame to be smooth and clear okay if you if you're gonna delete these keyframes it doesn't moving so what we're gonna do change shapes a little bit like this come here come here and change these shapes like this It needs to change a little bit as well. Yeah, everything is depend on your hands, guys. Oh, sorry. Practice a lot in After Effects and you will get it. It will be pro. Oh. Like, like this. Oh my God.
yeah, like this. So yeah, it goes. I hope you get the point. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna uh, go back because I don't want to lose <laughs> my work. Yeah. So I think the process is so clear what to do here like this frame by frame going down and then try to look like it's um, the phone okay look at this shape it's getting like a phone yeah it's transforming like frame by frame it's uh, like a turning animation turning up goes down and turning up okay so we just cut this layer here and we have new layer this is let's close this and open this one press U here I added extra two shapes like this the shapes and with position and size frame by frame I'm going up to make turning animation going up going up 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 and in the middle this uh, shape also frame by frame follows these two shapes okay frame by frame like this follows I have screen here and I have button this uh, circle button like old iPhones now iPhones um, remove this button and we have the just a screen but this is old version that's why I used <laughs> this button but that's not problem uh, yeah the screen changes the form like it follows the shapes frame by frame as well and here it ends button ends the screen ends and uh, screen uh, to screen and screen two. this was white screen whole screen and it was a uh, white screen okay and they end but we have still these shapes and these shapes gonna transform into laptop screen okay into MacBook laptop screen and this is uh, in the middle pass to make a visual like it's, it's screen okay but this is temporary screen because it ends here and we start with new screen like this another screen which uh, getting in opacity to 100 like it's uh, at the beginning it's zero and it became lighter like this yeah this is path animation also which uh, follows the direction of the back screen and then uh, this is the main screen and everything is attached on this screen okay because it's in the final part it's coming getting bigger with scale and everything this logo this part uh, everything here is attached on this layer on this layer and when it's scaling and growing like it comes to close to our eyes to our eyes yeah mm, everything follows it yeah that's all but I think I missed this part okay I missed this part but that's not something really difficult 
this is just the shapes like shape you can just uh, draw it with pencil here you can add another shapes like this and it follows this layer okay that's not a problem so we have the shape we have another rectangle yeah this is a touch bar here what is this oh this is this part yeah and the bottom part this is just a shape okay which um let's see which follows uh, this screen because this is attached to MacBook screen, okay? Yeah, that's all guys how I did this reflection when You have this screen here This screen you can just copy it command D Which I copied already and put it here You can see the keyframes And I have this just white shapes. Press U, you can see they just going from the right to the left with the position, and they uh, are they appear in just inside of this shape, okay? Because if I do it like no track it's outside of the screen this is screen okay but if you want to appear just inside you have to use alpha mate like this yeah and it's inside the screen just uh disappear this path and that's it Hope you enjoy guys, please like this video and subscribe my channel for more future tutorials. See you soon.